What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna to be giving you the top five fitness myths that we often see taking place. And one of the biggest issues is with, with this is a lot of times it holds people back from reaching their true potential. They spend years and years believing something when in fact, if they didn't believe it, they would be doing things a lot differently and get way faster results, okay? So number one, the biggest thing that I used to believe for many years is that clean eating is the only way, the only way to lose fat, build muscle. It's the only thing that works. And once I realized that flexibility Flexible dieting essentially works for 99% of people, which is something where you do maybe 80% healthy foods and 20% fun foods, or you know just enjoy, enjoy different principles and fit different things into your fitness journey. That's how you get true success. It's not from restricting. It's not from you know going on this crazy diet that you can never stick to for longer than a week. And it doesn't have to just be clean eating. You know, a lot of research says there's many benefits. Obviously, whole foods will keep you full. Do so many benefits. But if you're someone who can't stick to it for too long, or that you think you know without tracking your macros and eating healthy, you're gonna get success. Unfortunately, that's not the only way. And just one message before we jump into the next tip. As you know, today is Cyber Monday and we wanted to offer this. We've heard you, a lot of people have said, hey, I don't wanna miss this opportunity. So first link in the description, if you're serious about getting results through training, nutrition, and stop spinning your wheels constantly year after year, make sure to fill that out. We are looking for three more people who are motivated, ready to get great results, and we look forward to working with you. First link, today's the last day. Mythbuster here with the mustache. Number two is that direct ab work is gonna make your stomach more flat. There is a little bit of research that spot reduction is possible, but it's a very small amount. A lot of people that are very overweight or have a lot of room to go in their stomach think if they do crunches till they're black and blue, they'll have six pack abs. You might, but it will be underneath that fat. So it's super important that if you want abs, you put yourself in a deficit, you lean out while training those abs. And next up, number three, this is another nutrition related one. And this is so, so common. I'm really happy to hear that a lot of people are getting away from this. But just as much as I hear people are getting away from it, there's still people that believe it. And it's that carbs after seven, after six, after eight, or even food after a certain time will store more fat. And the reason this myth came to play was many, many years ago, there was a study that said, you're not burning many calories when you sleep, right? Your metabolism slows down. So if you eat your calories um, before that time frame, then you won't store on fat. And this is just blatantly wrong. Your body's always burning calories, especially when you're sleeping and cutting it off at a certain point will not help you avoid putting on fat. Like it's just once again, keeping everything, all the principles in check, your calorie deficit, your protein, all that good stuff, but cutting it off at a certain point makes absolutely no sense. And there's actually some research that shows that doing some carb loading the night before and actually eating a bit later on, obviously not too close to bed, so that way you know you have time to digest, is actually uh, super beneficial. So once again, it's been debunked so many different times, just please stop thinking it. If you are someone who believes in it, it is completely wrong and it is a huge myth. Number four is that more is always more. And you know, a lot of the time volume is a great thing. It's gonna help you put on new lean muscle. It's really gonna help push you, but where you need to be careful, a lot of new people come in, they go, I wanna lift seven days a week. I don't want any rest days. But what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up overworking yourself. There's two principles of thought. There's MED, which is minimal effective dose and maximal recoverable volume. I like the MRV school because I like to push myself. I like to find that point. But it's like a mountain, you know, if you tip over it, it's where you're gonna fall down, you're gonna fall off. You're gonna feel overworked, you're gonna feel exhausted, your intensity in your workouts is gonna suffer. So you really need to balance and be intelligent about it. For 99% of people, I recommend five days a week, two good rest days, and be really intentional with those five days in the gym. Make the most out of every lift, pretend it's the last set of rep you're ever gonna do for that moment. Like today's workout is gonna be done when I'm done it. So it's important I'm intentional, maximizing mind-muscle connection, pushing myself, bring that intensity, and making everything count. And last but not least, this is one that absolutely needs to be debunked. And before I jump into it, I just wanna say, a lot of the times people think, okay, it's just a myth, so what? But once again, there's been so many times in my life where I've wasted years and years believing something, and I know a lot of times someone, once again, going back to eating super healthy and not having fun foods, you can really mess yourself up. Something similar to what Josh's example right here was, if someone's overtraining constantly, just they can't get the grasp of things, it's gonna waste a lot of time and a lot of energy. So obviously with having a coach, we do things effectively. We do things to help you stay on track, know how many days to work out, how much to eat, how much play to, uh, how much fun foods you can fit in, all of that stuff. So if you've ever wanted to get started, we're your guys, okay? But that, number five is that women should be training differently than men, okay? Women should only do 20 plus reps. Women should not be doing upper body, okay? 
This is just absolutely false, and I can't stress how many times I've heard it before, and it just really sucks, because once again, in our program, we have a lot of women. We have so many success stories. You can see all of the beautiful women here who have transformed and who've done amazing things in our coaching program, and we're not doing completely different things. We don't have guys on you know, sets of, uh, or reps of five, and then women on reps of 20 or something like that. It's no difference, and at the end of the day, our bodies are obviously created a bit differently, but you know, you're not gonna get super bulky from doing squats and stuff. It's just gonna help tone your body nicely, put on some nice lean muscle mass, and I wish it was that easy to put on muscle mass. A lot of women think as soon as they lift a weight, they're gonna turn into this uh, bodybuilder that they've seen who's on steroids, and it's just completely false. So don't change up a thing. Lifting is your, gonna, gonna be your best friend. It's not just all about cardio, and I really hope we can get this point across to you. So once again, we are looking for three motivated individuals who wanna lose up to 20 pounds and put on some good muscle in the next 90 days. If you're serious, click that first link in the description. Hopefully this video helped. Make sure to smash that like button, share this video with someone who could benefit and learn a couple things, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.